Hey guys, I'm here in sunny California with my friend Peter Walsh, who is very well known in the organizing world. He's got himself on TV, he's got books, and he knows how to stay organized. So I thought, what better thing to talk about than how to stay organized while traveling, considering that Peter does quite a bit of that. So stick around for some great tips. So Peter, I know you do a lot of yep. international travel. And it's kind of overwhelming when you have to think about your passports and your credit cards and currencies. So what do you do to keep all of that stuff organized while you're traveling? Last year, I took 51 flights. Frequent flyer. Yeah, over the course of the year. And so for me, it's important to keep like things together. Yeah. So the international stuff, for example, I have one folder, one folio here. Yeah. And in this, I keep, I'm a dual citizen, so I keep both passports here. I, I keep all of my international credit cards, my Australian credit cards, all of my frequent flyer cards in you here. You clearly as well. collect a lot of points. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> well, you've got to make it worth it somehow. That's right. And then also, because I do travel to a ton of different countries, I have all of the foreign currency that right. I have left over here as well. So basically, in one area, I can grab this and I know for a fact that everything I need is in one place. So on this trip to California, I brought my laptop with me, my cell phone, an <laughs> iPad, I have all the gadgets. Yep. But it can get a little bit confusing in terms of how to store all of them, the Got cords it. and the wires, so what do you do? Well, it gets even more compounded if you travel to other countries where oh, yeah. there are different electrical systems. Good so point. the way I do that, it's really pretty simple. I take what would be just an amenities kit pack or if you get makeup, you often get these freebie clear packs. Yeah, department stores. Exactly. Or even a glasses case. Yes. And so, for example, in this one that has a red label, I know that this is all of my Australian Brilliant. charging units. So this could be for your camera gear or for yeah. your phone cords. It doesn't matter, but the label easily tells you what it is. Yeah, I love the color coding idea. Exactly. So visually, straight away, you know what to grab. Right. With a clear one, this is all my American charges. Mm -hmm. And again, I use this as an illustration. Basically, the clear case is great because straight away you can visually see love what's that. in it. Mm -hmm. Then, repurposing things I love, a glasses case and in this, uh, a set of noise cancelling headphones. And so straight away you can see here a really simple solution for organising your electronics so that they're not all jumbled at the bottom of a case or bag. Simple, easy, colour coding, clear, repurposing, it makes your life really easy. That's great, and I think this is wonderful co for cosmetics too. I mean, lipstick for example. Yeah. You know, uh, you put all your lipsticks in something like this, that's wonderful. Look, look anything at all, anything at all, where you're travelling with like items, gather them together mm. in a container, it's a really simple thing to do, and trust me, it'll make your life so much easier. Love it, thank you. All right, one of the things I like to do when I travel is shop. Okay. Now the only issue is sometimes my suitcase, I kind of have to like sit on it to zip it up. Do you have any tips for, I don't know, clearing out space in your sure. suitcase sure. or making more room? Or Look, this, this, this may sound a little crazy. I'm ready for <laughs> okay. it, bring on and, the crazy. And, and don't dismiss it immediately. But okay. one of the great things you can do when you travel, especially if it's a longer trip, is take clothing that you like but don't love clothing that is close to a used by date. For example, well, hang on. Let's say, let's say for example, <laughs> you, have under, you have underwear that, that is past its used by date. Well, you take oh, this, you wear it, and instead of bringing it home, you get rid of it. You get rid of it. Okay. It's a really simple thing to do, and that, you can do that for, t was that completely inappropate? Um, no. You can do that for t-shirts or for jeans or whatever. It's a fairly simple thing to do. It works well, it may not work for everyone, it works occasionally for me. I think it's a really interesting idea, actually, and it also helps people say, okay, one final hurrah with that pair of underwear, that pair of shoes that I'm trying to get rid of, and then you can move on from it, come home without having to worry about unpacking that or finding a home for it. I would like to say that this is the first time in history that Melissa has ever given a final hurrah to my underwear, and so <laughs> to, to everyone out there, Hurrah, hurrah, <laughs> this is the, this is, seriously, we are never, we are never going to do this again. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh my God, what are we doing here? Peter, I've seen your underwear, I've heard your tips. I feel so much better about traveling and packing, so thank you very, Pleasure. very much.
Guys, if you want to learn more about Peter's amazing organizing tips and tricks, I encourage you to visit his YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Peter Walsh, and I will have the links for you down below. Thanks so much for watching, and from sunny California, I'll see you next time. There are even more great traveling tips and tricks that Peter and I chatted about while I was lounging in his beautiful house in California, but you are going to have to visit his channel to check those out. It is Peter Walsh, and I'll post a link down below for you to click or tap. Thanks for watching.